I'm sorry. I've failed. I have to confess, I often go a few months or even a year without touching my 3DS, between preferring the older Pokemon games to having to fix my Katsu Kitty capture board for the second time, and just not having a ton of time to game these days, it gets neglected. This, of course, meant I missed the mad rush to update and download everything possible before the closure of the eShop. Now there are some great tools to circumvent this and replace the 3DS's online functionality, but we'll get to those in a separate video. For me, pre-modding and for those wanting to leave their 3DS stock, panic sets in. While I missed the eShop rush, FOMO was crawling like spiders on the back of my brain and I just could not allow myself to miss the window to transfer up my friends from my 3DS and DS Pokemon games up to Pokemon Home. I recorded my whole original playthrough of Pokemon Y for YouTube back in the day and had tons of event mons from the time, along with a few extra mons in the other games. Launch Pokemon Bank and it updated just fine. Then I go to launch the required Poke Transporter app and... Dread. Nothing but Dread. It needed an update from the last time I launched it, which was probably 10 years ago, and the service to update it doesn't work anymore. No worries, the fix is easy. Simply go to your system settings, then Nintendo 3DS, then software. Delete the Poke Transporter app data. Just delete it entirely. Trust me, it's okay. Then check extra data for any trace of the app there too, although I never have any. Now open Pokemon Bank and go to the bottom of the screen. There's a menu option for downloading Poke Transporter. Despite the updater not working, this option seems to bypass the normal eShop services and deploys an updated Poke Transporter installer directly from the shop, allowing you to re-download it and reuse it. Now enjoy transporting your precious Pokemon up to the modern world. It was fun seeing just how many events I got during the X and Y era. It was a fun time, though apparently some of the Pal Park Pokemon I moved to Pokemon White were illegal, so I couldn't migrate those. I'm hoping to get a bunch of Pokemon transferred up from Gen 3 and continue this legacy, but I know I'm running out of time. Speaking of Gen 3, check this video to see what cool Pokemon I found on these used Japanese copies of Ruby and Sapphire, or this video on how to back up your GBA and GBC Pokemon saves right here. Remember to be kind, rewind.